Hello to everybody who as much as myself afraid for the fate of Star Wars Episode 10. Well you know a dubious director Ray Skywalker also known as Palpatine also known as I'm Nobody as a leading star and ever screaming Finn as a Jedi and so on. In fact I will be enormously happy if the next chapter to the sequels turns out to be a better movie than the sequels themselves and there is good news to support this anyway. They gave hope and calmed down a little. In one of the previous videos I told you about the return of Luke's force ghost performed by Mark Hamill and in the same video I suggested what if we see Anakin in his ghostly form and just a couple of days later a rumor appeared from a well-known insider confirming the return of Skywalker Sr. The portal GFR reported information that the legendary Mark Hamill and Hayden Christensen are returning to the big screens in the film about Rey, The New Jedi Order also known as Episode 10 which will be released in December 2025. It is worthy to mention that the actress Ming-Na Wen who played the bounty hunter Fennec Shan reacted to this post thereby also making it clear that this information is not fake. The premiere of the film is scheduled for December the 19th 2025. The news is certainly interesting but we need just to wait a little longer for official confirmation from Lucasfilm. However, as we experienced before it will not be revealed until the premiere itself. Would a long-awaited meeting of father and son which was supposed to take place in the sequels finally happen? Yes, both of them have already left the world of the living but there was also an early rumor update that Anakin's force ghost would pop up in the Ahsoka series. After all, he still had a pupil who does not give up hope of saving him by interacting with time and other anomalies in the spirit of those from the temple on Luthal. If this is true, then I am sincerely happy for Hayden Christensen, his career has received a second win. More than Anakin, I'm waiting only for Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon Jinn and Yoda. They are force ghosts as well and their fate is still quite unknown. Only Yoda has honored us with his visit in the 8th episode. As for Obi-Wan, there is a kind of a funny situation. Initially, he was supposed to be the mysterious father of Rey which is why she heard his voice during the dark vision in The Force Awakens after she touched Luke's lightsaber. Then this idea was completely abandoned and thank God. Well, let's see who will appear in the end. Otherwise, we will be disappointed again. But there is also bad news. The development of the film should begin this summer but right now there is a strike of screenwriters in Hollywood which has already led to the postponement of the fourth season of The Mandalorian to a later date and soon a strike of directors may also begin and then the film industry will be completely paralyzed until major film companies raise their employees fees. This may affect episode 10 as well. If work on the project starts half a year later or Lucasfilm plans to go to Bantha Pudu and eventually the film will definitely not be released in December 2025. The last strike of this scale took place in 2007 and ended three months later. Let's see how long the strike of 2023 will last and how it will affect Star Wars. So far this is all that is known about the new Jedi Order to date but there is still some news on Ahsoka. Disney published and immediately deleted the release date of the series. The release date appeared on the official page of the series on Disney Plus, August the 31st, 2023 but after a couple of hours it disappeared. Note that the 31st is a Thursday and usually premieres were always released on Wednesdays. Perhaps this date is just a typo but I think the probability that the series will be released at the end of August is very high. Although deep down I'm pretty sure that the series will be postponed to a later date. When was the last time Lucasfilm released something on time? Obi-Wan rescheduled and or rescheduled, The Bad Batch was rescheduled, The Mandalorian was rescheduled, Jedi Survivor was rescheduled, everything was rescheduled. Therefore, we are waiting for Ahsoka in September or October, not earlier. Also, first round of news came out about Tamuera Morrison's return to the role of Captain Rex. No, they certainly appeared a long time ago and it's too obvious. But at some point everything went quiet and Rex was not mentioned by anyone in any way. The One Take News portal reported that Morrison is returning to the Star Wars universe but this time not in the role of, of Boba Fett. And it is clear that we are talking about Rex. Insiders can't say for sure whether Rex will be in flashbacks or will appear in the main timeline of the series. He is definitely alive but how will Rex appear before us? A 90 year old man? By the standards of the clone aging cycle, he is in his deep old age and it is quite possible that the Ahsoka series will complete his story altogether. By the way, 
Morrison has already played clone of the 501st Legion in live action and it was in the Obi-Wan TV series. I'm talking specifically about the clone of the 501st in blue armor. I know some may say that he also played Cody in Revenge of the Sith. So, the scene where Morrison appeared before us in the image of a homeless clone actually got into the series completely by accident. No one planned it. It's just that Ahsoka's casting and filming for Vanity Fair magazine took place on the same day. Then they brought together all the actors from different TV series like The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, Andor and even Vader performed by Christensen was brought along on the same platform. And some of the characters remained behind the scenes, including Morrison in the role of Rex. On this day, he was trying on the armor of the 501st Legion so that Lucasfilm could figure out how he looked in them and later decided to shoot such a curious scene with Obi-Wan and an aged clone in the Deo Alley. So, the abandoned veteran clone from the series is practically old Rex. In other words, that is how he will look in the series. I hope this information was interesting to you. Sorry it took a lot of time for me to cook. That's it for today guys. Write in the comments whether you are waiting for Anakin in the 10th episode and how you feel about his return. I'm saying goodbye to you for a while but I'll be back very soon with interesting news. Thank you all very much for watching. See you soon.